these are the decomp bags, right? We're conducting a drought experiment here, supported by the New Hampshire Agricultural Experimental Station here at UNH. So it's five years total, the plot is one hectare, and the structure that you see in the background is removing about 50% of the throughfall, the, the rain that falls beneath the canopy, and then shuttling it away from the plot. So the plot's receiving about half as much rainfall as it would normally. We don't usually think about drought being an important issue here in New England, but as we saw last summer, we did experience an extreme drought in this region and climate change predictions suggest that even though we expect to see more total rainfall in this region, we also expect to experience more prolonged dry periods. So in the future, the drought that we experienced last summer, those sorts of events will likely be more frequent in the future. These forest drought experiments are much more rare and there have been a few that have been conducted in the United States, um, a couple in tropical ecosystems, and this is, I believe, the first in the Northeast, in, in the New England region. Okay, so this is where we're going to put the sap flow sensors, is that right? Yeah, the trees in New England are adapted to wet environments, and so we don't know exactly how trees here are going to respond to drought if we end up having uh, severe droughts or consecutive years with moderate to severe droughts. This experiment is trying to look at both ecosystem level response and also individual tree response to see how different species may be more or less tolerant, more or less sensitive to a drier climate in this region. We're taking a lot of different measurements. We're looking at the growth of the trees. We measure the diameter growth using diameter bands. We also measure litter fall, soil respiration. We are also measuring more physiological measurements at the leaf scale. So Cam, again, will also show you how he gets up into the canopy to actually take these measurements. I think it's a really important question to be asking now because we are seeing more extreme climate events occurring. I think that there's a lot we don't understand about how our tree species in New England will respond to these droughts, so we'll start to get an answer to some of these questions over the coming years. Mm -hmm.